Good morning, it is Monday the 22nd today, which means, hello, do you want to be in the vlog too? <laughs> this little puppy has been the most gorgeous little thing the past couple of weeks, haven't you? Um, it, we are almost into the last week of May, which means we're almost into the first week of June, which means our St Ives holiday is around the corner and so is my birthday. So I'm feeling very chirpy this morning. Um, I have been a little bit delirious the last week. I haven't left the house in eight days now. Um, yes, eight days today. Um, it's been a really random week. Well, it, it was last week. This week will be different. Hi, get on Tommy. Work. Basically, in here was the walls were kind of like an off-white to cream but we've now gone over everything in this room in white and then we've obviously done in here as well i'm going to give that a second coat now and then all that needs doing in here is like glossing around like these bits and the skirting boards and the ceiling which tommy's gonna do really really quick update a bee had flown in and was like buzzing in the windows up here for like the entire time I was eating my dinner. I just went in the kitchen to make a drink and I just like looked him in a cup of tea that was just sat on the side from this morning and there was legitimately that bee on its back drowning in my brew. So I've just come outside and like thrown it onto the grass obviously to like get it out of the to get it out of the the brew and I think it's struggling a little bit. Hope it's okay. Oh Okay, that's me. That's the closest I'm gonna to get to a bee for a long time. That's too scary. Are you comfy? Or what there, Miss Chief? Look at you. What are you doing? Here's a quick update. Bee's fine. Just got inside, filmed that clip with Evie, turned around and it was trying to get back inside. So I swore and ran to close the door and it's now flying around outside. So the bee's alive, we're all fine. It's not inside anymore. I've not been stung. I'm terrified of bees and wasps. I was just, just five minutes into filming and uh, either the bee has a twin or it's managed, in the two seconds I had the doors open, managed to get back inside and it's very much alive now. Um, it has managed to get itself stuck in one of the skylights. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll definitely be able to hear it. It's that big thing there. I've got those doors open now, which is obviously kind of putting me at risk of other bees coming in, which I'm not really too happy about. This is just not an ideal situation. I'm really thinking, oh, 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 please go out the Oh no, just, oh my God, it's just floated into one of the water. Oh my God, I'm really scared to come out me though. Like, I honestly nearly started crying then. I missed last week's videos. I was so like nervous to film this and just kind of like to get myself back in the spirit of things. Sit down, starts going all right, and I'm invaded by a bee. <laughs> How did this turn into the most stressful day ever? And I've got something on my camera lens. One minute. <laughs> so, I know today's Monday. I know today's Monday, but it was supposed to be. I'll do a little bit of painting and write a blog post, share the blog posts I wrote that went live today and film a makeup video and I honestly, that bloody bee threw me off completely, completely. I'm gonna have to turn this ring light off because it's way too bright. But basically I've just filmed this. So it's already up on my channel if you're at all interested. I might as well sit and talk to you all about Brighton in the weekend while we're sat here because I'm comfy and I've got makeup on for once so this might be your first for the week um but basically we went to Brighton last weekend the vlog is already up on my channel um Brighton is one of our favorite favorite places um one day we might go to live down south nearer to Brighton just throwing that out there um and we love it. Tom had booked me tickets to Carousel, which is a musical on the West End that was only on for a couple of months featuring two of my favourite people. So it had in it Catherine, Jen Catherine Jenkins and Alfie Bow, who are two 
amazing classical singers um, and I've seen them both in concert before. I've seen Alfie Bowen Les Mis and he was incredible. If you didn't know this about me, I'm a big uh, musicals fan and I just love Catherine Jenkins' voice and Alfie Bowen's voice. I just really, really like them and Alfie Bowen is from like just up the road so you know. Um, so yeah, so we knew we had that and we decided to stay in Brighton rather than in London because it's a little bit cheaper and it means that we, we could kind of do both. So we headed down on the Friday and we went to see a comedy show which was so funny. Um, it's called Comedia with a K. So if you're in Brighton or you're visiting or there's, I think there's like a chain of them. Um, I always recommend going to a comedy club because it's just a really different night out and if you get past the kind of like nervousness of, oh my goodness, what if they pick on me? It's a good night out. But as long as you don't shout anything to them and if you don't sit right at the front, they don't tend to pick on you anyway. Saturday we went into London. So we went to, um, where did we go first? We went to Covent Garden, had a little meet around the shops. One of my favorite stationery shops is in Covent Garden called Kiki K. Um, I bought a couple of, a few pens and things like that. I think we a haul will be up on Thursday of things that we bought while we were there. So, um, that will already be up on the channel um, and Tom's in it as well. Um, we've not filmed it yet but he's going to be in it. And then we went to the James Bond exhibition. So Tom is a massive James Bond fan and I knew that it was on so I kind of surprised him and just turned up and he was like... And it's basically got all of the cars and the vehicles and the cool like stuff in there. So he was in his element, he loved that. Um, so we didn't really do much shopping on the on the Saturday. We just we had a look in Zara, and he got a couple of bits, and we had like a little mooch. But it wasn't like a full on shopping day where you get stressed and tired and your feet hurt. We just had a really casual look around the shops, which was really nice. And um, then we went for some food at Dirty Bones, which is like a barbecue restaurant. I've never been before. It was a new one that's just opened in Soho. It was insane. And on the vlog, I have to just throw this out there, but on the vlog, it looked like I ate so much that weekend. Now, just all have in your mind at all times that I've had a gastric sleeve. So if you see that I've got, so when we went to Dirty Bones, we ordered ribs, like a half rack of ribs, um, the full length ones, Tom ordered a burger with mac and cheese on it and then a massive plate of fries. They were incredible. The fries, they were the ones with the like, crispy bits of lamb and then chilli on them. They were to die for. But I, Tom now, because he's working out so much, has a bigger appetite than ever before and obviously I don't have one really at all. So he, we ordered those two meals and I had like a tiny little bit of the ribs and a couple of chips and he eats the rest but obviously because it like I order it it sits in front of me it looked I just thought it looked ridiculous because I was just sat there with this massive plate of ribs but I obviously didn't eat them all and then like we got ice cream in Brighton on the Sunday and I had a couple of spoonfuls before I gave it to Tom because it can make me feel quite sick because of how much sugar's in it and how tiny my stomach is blah 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 so I didn't want you to all think that I was like putting all this food away when I was eating that donut on the Sunday I ate half of it and then saved the rest for the next day so I just just wanted to say that because it wasn't clear in that vlog of how much I actually ate so I'm going to be doing the what I eat in a day video so it will all become clear in that one um, but yeah, so then we went to this show and it was incredible. Um, it's not on anymore. We actually went to closing night. Um, when I said to Tom, oh my goodness, Alfie Bo and Catherine Jenkins are in a musical together. How did we not know this and how do we not have tickets? He immediately went and bought them for me. He is an absolute superstar and it was probably one of the best shows that I've ever seen on the West End, to be honest. I'm thinking of doing like some kind of post on... Um, or a video on like my favourite things to do in London or my favourite western musicals that I've seen because we've seen quite a few now I'm really lucky that I've seen quite a few and I feel like it would be good to show tell you the ones that I didn't think were that great and the ones that I really enjoyed so let me know if that's something you're interested in but um yeah it was incredible I've never seen Carousel before which so it was a bit of a different experience for me because when I've been to see shows in the past I've normally always seen them before whether on stage in like a smaller production or in a film so this I'd never seen I didn't have a clue what the storyline was and it was amazing the music was really good really catchy they were incredible Catherine Jenkins I think it was like her first definitely her first stint on the West End but like her first major acting role and 
it was so good it had me bawling my eyes out um it was incredible and the fact that it was closing night so the atmosphere was amazing i just wish i could have had you sat on my shoulder so you could have experienced it all with us and um, the conductor they did like an extra encore at the end everyone was on the feet everyone it was just amazing it was just such an amazing experience it i just find those things like so uplifting and oh, it was so good it really really was so good so we did that got the train home really late on the saturday night or back to Brighton and then on the Sunday we went for breakfast in Brighton and had a look around the shops the Sunday was more of a shopping shopping day and um, we got like the dogs a new crate to put all the toys in and um a few other bits and pieces which again will be in the video that was up on Thursday my voice sometimes does those really weird strange things um then we drove home and I crashed um in the car as in I fell asleep not like we didn't crash the car Tom drove all the way home um, I felt really, really travel sick. Then I woke up on Monday with the worst migraine I've ever had. It stayed around till about Wednesday afternoon before it started to die off. So I spent Monday, Tuesday in bed all day with the curtains closed, just sleeping. I was having like um, herbal sleeping tablets to help me just nod off and try and sleep it off. And then on Thursday and Friday, I had a really bad tummy bug. So I was on the toilet for most of Thursday and Friday and then I started feeling better on Saturday and then I came on my period so I had the best week ever last week which is why I didn't film any videos I I just thought oh I need to film them I, I've, I've had so many ideas recently and I've wanted to kind of like film more makeup videos which is something that I just addressed in this video the video I've just filmed I really really want to start doing more makeup on my channel and um I just couldn't, I couldn't get up, I couldn't get off the sofa and I just thought I'm going to be miserable in these videos, there's no point in forcing it, I'm not going to film. So luckily because I had a little bit of footage from my moon and Brighton I was able to put up a weekly vlog, but that was it. So that was a little quick update on the last week for you all. Oh look, that was so worth doing. Good morning, it is Wednesday today and Yesterday I had a day of just doing work stuff and um, went to the gym. Today I've been up and got ready obviously and I've just filmed a video with someone very special who's hiding I think. We just filmed a video together. How did you find it? It was fun. I enjoyed it. It'll be up on Thursday. It was a haul. We're squeezing each other's bum. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be up on Thursday. Thursday so Tommy is gonna go he's got some jobs to do this afternoon and then he's in work in the gym and then I'm going to town with my sister so I've got a couple of parcels to pick up I'm gonna have a mooch in primes um, and I think we're gonna get some lunch because I haven't had any breakfast today either and it's like five to one now so I'm gonna go and pick her up I said I'd get her at one I need to just get, put a jacket on oh could you just do a quick half of the day for me mm -hmm. We had dominoes the other day, don't judge us. Um, so I've got on this top, which is a new one from Topshop, and I love it. I know everyone's got it, um, but it's kind of like the Gucci one, but it was £15. Um, this skirt is from ASOS, and it's the same as my blue denim skirt, which is a wraparound, but it is in black, obviously. My blue one is in the size 14, this is in the size 12, and it was a little bit snug when I first got it, but I think I can get away with it now. Thank you. Are you going now? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I, I don't need to take stuff off. <laughs> Bye. Hello, hello, hello. I've been, I feel like I've been the world's worst vlogger today. So I went to town with Emma, we had Nando's for lunch and we both got a little a few bits of clothes, a few bits of makeup. I've just called it Morrison's and got um, a really fancy cottage pie for tea. So I just got a ready meal cottage pie. This at the house is just an absolute shit tip. An absolute shit tip. There's just stuff everywhere. So we have a new utility room sink and a tap that I think actually works which I'm very excited about. It's so difficult to try and like do work and film and everything where the, when the space around you is just horrific. And I tidied, you, you saw it in last two weeks ago vlog, I wiped all the sofa down in here, hoovered, tidied, and it's a mess again already. And I just don't know how it happens. Um, but it all seems very 
non-important when you put it against things that are happening on in the world around you so today is wednesday and um i think it was monday night was the attack on manchester the men arena I keep seeing posts everywhere about how love wins and we should stay strong and prove to them that we can get through this and to the radical to the radicals and i know that we should and that it should but i just kind of think that they don't care and we can stand in a vigil and we can stand united and I mean, the amount of people that was on Twitter on the night that it happened saying that people could have shelter, lifts, free taxi rides, the kindness of people, the donations that have been sent in, it's incredible. But I feel like we need to do that and be strong for each other. And all of this talk of that we should be like this to prove to them that it's not gonna break us. It, it, it does break us. 22 people have lost their lives and, um, I, it just it feels like we we can't do anything to stop it at the moment it's just so scary and it really you know I put a video up yesterday and I have tweeted about it but it just makes everything seem so small and not as important and I know we're supposed to go on living etc etc but it just kind of makes it feel like what's the point I just can't even imagine what the families I just Nobody should go to a concert, nobody should leave the house and not come back that day because of somebody else's decision to do something evil and it's just so heartbreaking. How I just, I don't know, how do you get through something like that? So I just wanted to address that because obviously it's been a massive thing this week and just has, ma has made me think about stuff a whole lot more. Um, you know, when you compare it to like my granddad who a few days ago, I was sat uncontrollably crying about, and obviously you're going to, that's completely normal and I wouldn't have it any other way. But he lived a full life. He had an amazing family, he had an amazing life. He had every experience and he did everything he wanted to do. And then somebody has gone to a concert who one of the girls that's that was one of the victims was eight years old she's not even been through high school and it's just it makes you realize how you should tell people that you love and that you spend time with every day how you feel about them and how much you should not take every single day for granted and make the most of experiences and live each day to the full as cringy as that sounds but mostly telling people that you love that you love them because they could be taken away at any given point and it might not be as horrible as something that happened at the MEN but life's too short morning can you see my two little girls oh Evie you ruined it Friday today and we're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK which if you're in the UK you'll know about my goodness they are quite some bad under my eyes Um, I it's about it's nine o'clock you know for about an hour um and i'm in my gym gear because that is where we're off to this morning i left my camera at home when we went to the gym this week i feel like i've been the worst vlogger ever ever and i've not vlogged anything of any interest i'm thinking of calling this vlog a vlog not worth watching and um, we got home from the gym and i went upstairs and i faked hand you might not be able to tell um just up to my neck i've not done my face i don't really have anything that's uh, I don't have a tan to tan my face with and um, so I'm just gonna like match my foundation to the rest of my body but I'm just kind of going for like a natural warm glow I'm not going like I don't want to look like I've been tango so I've just put on like loose fitting clothes and I don't really know what to do today to be honest I'm feeling a bit it's glorious weather outside Um Tom's busy all day so I'm on my own Um I'd give you a little update um after I filmed that last clip I don't know if you could tell in it I was already getting upset but um I just went and sat on the sofa and just cried the last few days for some reason I've just kept feeling like I just could cry 
for no reason. And I'm not on my period. I'm not hormonal. Hormonal. Um, I just keep starting crying and I don't know why. I went upstairs and got into bed and watched some YouTube and um, then I've, for about two hours I've been napping on and off. But because I feel like this vlog has been terrible this week, to the point where I've thought I'm not, to not even put it up because I've not done anything. Um, I've, I updated you on when we went to Brighton and London, but I've just kind of spoke to the camera. I've not really done anything at all apart from I showed you that we had an Ando's. Um, but the truth is, is that this is this is what my week's been like. Um, they're not, you know, they're not always like last weekend we were in Brighton and we had an amazing weekend but it's not that isn't always the case like we're not I'm not always doing something exciting or fun or you know I I live a normal life I don't know so I but I just thought no I'm going I'm gonna put it up because this is a reflection of how my week's been and some weeks aren't going to be as good as others I've had a parcel come from Boohoo that I ordered a couple of days ago Um, I will show you a couple of things I bought from New Look when I went to town with my sister because one of the things from Boohoo was to go with this outfit. I think this is an okay setup. Um, I've been filming down here, so everything's in the background. Tinks keeps licking me. Baby, I faked hand, please stop licking my arm. Please stop licking me. Go and play outside or something. I did actually think about doing a whole video just on the stuff that's in this bag because there was enough to warrant a whole video, but with everything that I've got scheduled and planned coming up, I just don't have room for it immediately so I, I hope you don't mind that I'm just popping it in here to give you some extra content. Um, okay so the first thing, I've literally just opened this so I don't know what anything's like. Boohoo can be a little bit hit and miss usually I find um, but this is the first thing. I'll link everything down below in the description because I can't remember how much any of this stuff was although I did have a 20% off code because Boohoo always have 20% off codes and also um, it's never very expensive, is it, for Boohoo? So I got this in a large, and this is just a red jumper. It looks very big and oversized. Um, this just has 90s club on it, and it's just like a normal kind of sweatshirt jumper, but it does look very oversized. It's like 27 degrees here in the UK at the moment, but for some reason I ordered these jumpers. I got this again in... Oh, this is a medium to large. The, it came in small to medium or medium to large. It's just this kind of like dusty blue colour. And then the sleeves aren't actually tied up. But they've got these two kind of like, can you see those straps? So they basically tie around the bottom of the sleeve. Um, just to give it kind of like a little bit of extra something, something. But basically the idea is that it ties around the bottom of the sleeve. This is just, it's like kind of like a pyjama child shirt. It's a little bit different, a little bit out there. Um, and that's what it looks like. So it's got buttons going down the front and then it's just this gorgeous tropical print with like um, these different colours on. I really like this actually. Um, even the 12 looks quite roomy so I think this will be alright. I was worried that it was going to be a bit too small but hopefully I will get my little booby doobs into that. They ain't that little but you know what I mean. So I don't really ever buy pyjamas unless they're from Primark because Primarks are so affordable and cheap. That's the same thing, Amy. Primarks are so affordable. Um, but I got these and I got these in a the large and I already absolutely love them. Um, oh, I really like them. They feel really soft and cosy. These are a large. They had another couple of pairs on there that I definitely could have bought, but I wasn't sure what the pyjamas would be like, so I didn't get them. But they're just, the shorts are, have donuts and coffee printed on them, which I absolutely love, like pastel colours. Oh, these have made me really happy. Um, and then this is the top, this is slightly cropped, and this says Brunch Club on it, which I also really like. I like the placements of the donuts. Um, I really like those. I didn't know whether they'd be a little bit on the smaller side, um, but they look to be okay. This is by a brand called Brave Soul. I got this in a 12. It was off Boohoo. And this is just a khaki kind of like utility jacket. So um, this has like the pockets up here and then the, the buttons all going down the middle. And this looks quite nice actually. I just wanted like a plain khaki jacket. It feels... Um, like a really good like sturdy material it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy or anything like that 
I'll obviously wear it open and I just also remembered that I said I was going to show you what what I bought for those to go with um, I think that it's upstairs but I'll put I'll put the little pictures from the New Look website on here so that you can see them but basically it was a um, black um, you know the swimming costume things that you like fasten yourself and then they talk into things what are they called body uh, body suit a body suit um, just a black like vest looking one and then in white writing it has in capital letters written mercy on it and then the jeans are like a blue denim with like a one ripped knee and then the bottom are like really ripped and unfinished so I thought that like with Stan Smith's or even Converse, those jeans with the bodysuit tucked in and that jacket, that it would be like a really nice outfit or even to wear with heels if you want to like dress it up if you're going out for like a meal or something. So um, yeah, hopefully you won't mind me just putting the pictures up on the screen of those. There's three red dresses that I ordered. Ordered. The first one is not red, it's orange. Um, it looked red on the model on the website but it's a burnt orange, which to be honest, I don't totally hate. Um, I got this in a 14, and this has pom-poms on it. Um, I'm not sure about this. It's like a crept material, and then it's got pom-poms on the front, and then the sleeves are quite like a bell sleeve with pom-poms on the bottom, and then the bottom of the dress has pom-poms on as well. It is very sweet and very cute. I think they had this in black as well, and I do really like it. I do actually really like it. We'll just have to see what that looks like once it's on. I do want this to before we go on holiday and with it having long sleeves it might be a bit warm but then on the cooler days it might work nicely or when we go out at night time. Um, and we're hoping to go to America at the end of the year and I feel like that might be a good option for then. Um, this next one is also a little bit more informal. This one I got in a 14 again and it's an off the shoulder red dress that looks very short but I do really like it. So this one is actually red, um, off the shoulder and then the sleeves kind of like puff out a little bit which I really like um, and then it's buttons all the way down. And this one is a little bit more formal, this is in a size 12 so they definitely must have sold out of the 14 because I probably wouldn't have ordered this in the 12 if they had the 14. Um, Okay, it's one of those where the straps cross over at the back, so it's going to be nigh on impossible for me to show you what this actually looks like. But this one is more of a, it says it's a maxi dress. Um, so it's just kind of like, like this at the front, um, at the tops, over the boob area. And then it's a wrap, like frilly maxi. I don't know if you can see that very well. So can you see how it is at the bottom? So it's a little bit longer at the bottom. This reminds me of that, um, like girl dancing emoji on the emojis on our phones <laughs> and then that's the back there this feels like a little bit more of a cheaper material um but again i'll have to see what it looks like on and then i'll just quickly show you the length of this one so i don't actually see what you can see. can't see what you can see of me so i'm holding that up where that will sit um you know like the top of my boobs Oh, it's not that short actually but once it like skims over my boobs and my bones that my bones my bones i expect it will come up a little bit but it doesn't actually look that short so we may have a winner we will see about that and that's everything um i haven't made a boohoo order in a really long time because i do find it quite hit and miss but i just wanted to see if i could get a couple more um holiday dresses so i went on there looking at red dresses and then i saw those pajamas and then i saw that shirt and then, and then the rest was history this week i've got a birthday get ready with me coming up and a may favorite so hopefully you'll enjoy those two um i'm loving my channel at the moment this is the only thing keeping me going i feel like this week i will see you all next week have a lovely weekend thank you for watching bye